Shalom Aleichem, welcome back to the weekly Sicha. This week's Parsha, Vayikra, begins with the word Vayikra and it has a small Aleph at the end of the word Vayikra. And the Farshim discuss why was there a small Aleph and many of them give an answer that it alludes to Moshe Rabbeinu's humility. But now we're going to discuss the answer that Dal Rebbe gave to this question, also based on the concept of humility, but Dal Rebbe gave this answer with a little bit more elaboration. So, the story is as follows. When Dal Rebbe brought his grandson at Semach Tzedek to learn in Cheder for the first time, he instructed that the Malamed, the teacher, should first learn with him at the beginning of Ayikra, as it's customarily done. And upon finishing his initial learning, the Tzemach Tzedek asked his grandfather, why is Vayikra written with a small aleph? Altar paused, vacuous, deep, deep thought, and then responded, by contrasting the difference between Adam Arishan and Moshe Rabbeinu. Adam Arishan was physically created by Hashem. Yitzir Kapav Shalakadosh Baruch Hu, and his wisdom superseded even the wisdom of the Malachim, the angels. That's how he was able to give names to all the creations. Yet despite his wisdom, his greatness led him to slip, to slip and sin with the Chet Eitz Hadas. Moshe Rabbeinu, on the other hand, knew his greatness, but did not let this knowledge get to his head. On the contrary, he was humbled and broken before every single yid. And that was due to his, his cheshpin, he made a calculation, that if another yid would have the same high level of neshama that he had, and the same as chus avis, special ancestry, then that yid for sure would have outpour, outperformed him. And this attitude is why the Torah describes Moshe Rabbeinu as Anav Mikal Adam, the humblest of all people, and Moshe Rabbeinu's attitude of humility actually atoned for the chet, the sin of Adam Arishan. Adam Arishan's sin resulted from his unchecked self-awareness, and Moshe Rabbeinu used his self-awareness to be humble. And what about the size of the letters? So. The letters Hashem gave us at Har Sinai come in three sizes, large, average, and miniature. The Torah was written with mid-sized letters, since the average person should actually strive to be a Benini. A Benini is somebody who is considered to be, quote, average, which means the Benini of Tanya is somebody who is not a tzaddik, he still has struggles, but he still avoids sins and does his best to serve Hashem all the time. The Torah helps one reach the level of a Benini. Adam Rishon in Divrei Yamim was written with a large Aleph because that's alluding to his high self-worth which of course led to his downfall. Moshe Rabbeinu was written with a small Aleph to hint to his humility which led him to the highest level of humility. Now, we find that Dal Rebbe and the implies that the large Aleph of Adam Rishon implies that he was at a very high level. It shows how he was before the, he actually sinned. So why then was Adam Rishon written, written with a large Aleph? So it's possible to answer that Adam Rishon is written with a large Aleph because he, still, being the a creation of Hashem, he always retained his special Milo, that he was really removed from sin. On his own, he wasn't shy to Averis. At the time of creation, the clippers were separate from the good. It's only due to his, his um, feeling great. He had a hergish of himself. He felt himself. So that caused him to sin, which caused the whole world to go down. But still he retained a certain degree of his pre-sin greatness. And every yid has within himself a spark of Adam Arishan, and therefore every youth should be aware of their qualities, as well, together with their faults, and this self-awareness should give a youth a kayak to 
propel himself and do anything in Kedusha which is required from him. He shouldn't say, well, who am I? Rather, he should realize he is a special person, he is a Yid who has within himself a special Neshama. He was given the Kaich to do what he has to do. So that's why the small Aleph is there, to remind you that you have to have a proper awareness of yourself. At the same time, you have to have the small Aleph to remember Moshe Rabbeinu's Mida of Anava, of being humble before everybody by making the calculation that the other person would be better if they had your inherited miles. Now, following the approach of Moshe Rabbeinu, by having Bittl, we will be Zeche to personal greatness. As the Chacham of Talos, whoever makes himself small, becomes great. And this will lead us to have the Kayach to call out Vayikra al Moshe to the level of Moshe Vaun Shama, and this will give us the Kayach to do the Avoida of Hashem, the Avoida of Kabanas, and the Avoida of Kabanas will be perfected with the third Beis Hamikdash. May it be Imheira Amen. Have a great week and a good Shabbos.